There's been a lot of discussion about Uscript being able to encapsulate its visual scripting setups into a custom action node, so I thought I would give you all an early preview of that system. In Uscript, we call these nested scripts, though if you have used other visual scripting systems, you may also know them as subsequences. However, because Uscript generates actual programming code for its Uscripts, nested Uscripts are even more versatile than subsequences. Please keep in mind this is an early look from our closed beta, and some of the UI and usability related tasks that will make this even easier to use are still coming online. Let's get started. As you can see here, we have our alarm setup scene loaded from our last two part video series. We're going to organize our Uscript a bit by taking some of the Uscript visual logic and wrapping it up into its own action node. In order to do that, we're going to load up our original alarm Uscript, make a copy of it, and modify the copy to just contain the logic that triggers the door alarm. Okay, we'll load up Uscript. And here's our old scene that we had from the alarm setup from before. So what I'm going to do is just save this as a new script. And we'll just call this alarm setup. We're not going to assign it to the master game object because we're going to just use this as a nested script. And all we need to do is delete all the extra stuff that we're not going to need. Okay, now we're going to use something called external connections. This basically will make the uh, little sockets like you see on these other nodes for our uh, nested Uscript node. So I'm going to just bring this over here. We don't need this anymore, but for, before I delete that, I'm going to create some new external connections. And we'll call this one alarm start. And this one will be alarm stop. Now we'll just delete this trigger and we'll feed these right in where the trigger was. And we're also going to want to expose this so that the other script can let us know when, if the alarm has been hacked or not. So let's create one more. And I'll name this the same thing. And we just hook it up to the variable. Okay, we're pretty much done. So I'm just going to save this. Now we're going to open up our other original Uscript, script and we're going to replace all this messy stuff with our new node. Open. All right, now we can get rid of a lot of this logic that we just replaced with our own node. So we're going to want to keep the trigger and we're going to want to use this alarm hacked variable and everything else we can delete. Now all we need to do is go up to advanced logic and here's our alarm setup place this in the world and just hook it up and hook up the variable press save and we're done let's close you script and give it a shot And there you have it. Uscript is now using a custom action node made from our visual scripting logic. I can now further generalize this custom node to use throughout the game or to use in future games for myself or an entire team. I hope you've enjoyed this Uscript feature quick look. 